Hello and welcome. So today what we'll be doing is we're going through Asteroid OS as it is on the LG Watch Urbane. Uh, so let's go through the process. Uh, we scroll to the left and we have notifications. This is visible when you connect your smartphone to the smartwatch via Bluetooth. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now we scroll to the right. And right there we have events tied to a calendar on your smartphone via Bluetooth again. Okay. And then we scroll to the top. We have uh, four buttons and your battery icon. So uh, at the top, you can lock your screen. Uh, I'm not going to go through the process because it just makes my screen black. So um, also there's auto brightness to the far left. That's uh, a good feature. I don't turn that off because it it made my um made my screen go completely dark. I had to manually like figure out how to get it back up. So there's that uh, Bluetooth functionality. I mainly don't use it because my um my Google Pixel Five it's running Graphene OS and it has security features which don't enable that connection to a smartphone for some reason. Um, okay, and then there's uh, your vibration. So that's uh, far right. Yeah. Okay, so let's scroll to the bottom now. Uh, we're back to the main screen. Let's scroll again to the bottom. And we have <clears throat> some several several features. We have the agenda, which looks like so. It's basically a calendar. Yep. And you can add things to the calendar. Maybe that's what's tied to it, but I'm fairly sure it also goes through your um, your phone's calendar as well. Okay. So we're getting off the uh, events. We're going back down. We're going to the next the next area, which uh, is alphabetical. So it's alarm clock. A brief look at that. It looks like so. I was using it, but um, it's not as effective as say an actual alarm clock. It's 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 vibrations good on your arm, but I don't like to sleep with watches. So you know, um, that's that. Let's go to the next, which is calculator. Hey, if a, if a kid uses it for an exam, that's that's their dilemma. But hey, it works. So that's all that counts. One uh, plus one. Let's give that a shot. So equals two. Perfect. What? That's incredible. Technology has come a long way, everyone. Um, okay. So we have compass. So the compass. Uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty accurate. It's it has all the features that are said on as on Asteroid OS's website. So I'm pretty sure it's accurate enough. I'm going to get off of that now. And then ugh, get off. Okay, hold on. Hold on a moment. Okay. So now we have diamonds, which is a game. It looks like so I got pretty high before. Uh, my best was 5932, 5, but um, it's it's getting there. I'll get up there again soon. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, okay. So we have the flashlight. The flashlight works like this. It's just bright, blinding light in your eyes. So I don't really like that. Let's let's get off of that now. Uh, oh, actually, you can also um. I think if you click, you can turn it off and on. I mean, that's that's a nifty feature. Very nifty indeed. Um, okay, so heart rate. It has this like weird sort of um electrical thing that it uses on your wrist and it feels weird. So I'm gonna turn it off. I don't really enjoy it that much. Um, music. If you tie it to your phone via Bluetooth, you can control your music via this. Um, it's a bit it's a bit fiddly sometimes. It it doesn't always get it right, but it might just be my phone. Your your uh, your mileage may vary. Okay, cool. Um, so settings. Settings is where the action is, I find. So if we go here, we have time, date, language, Bluetooth display. Uh, date, time, time is there. It looks pretty good. It's it's all manually set up though. It's not all connected to the internet. So yeah, uh, that's date, language. You can change your language to a lot of different ones. I don't want to press anything there. I might lose the ability to control my smartwatch. Bluetooth is on. I'm gonna turn it off real quick. There we go. So I turn Bluetooth off because I don't have that functionality. My phone's weird. Um, 
One moment. Okay. And I just went to display, which was located just after Bluetooth here, display. And we have brightness, automatic brightness, always on, burn-in protection, because it's an OLED panel, it's an OLED screen. Uh, tilt to wake, so you can just like shake your wrist and it wakes up. Um, and tap to wake, I don't use that functionality. It, having that top tap functionality adds to the, um, the battery loss, so. Uh, oh yeah, that's display again. We're going to units this time. So units use 12 hour format. I prefer the, the PM AM at the end. Um, I don't live in America, so I don't use the, the Fahrenheit. Um, I use Celsius. And then there's wallpapers. You can change them at your own peril, but I like I like the whole, you know, like dark, dark stuff. It's, it, it's uh, better on OLED panels, so. And it saves battery. But mine's not entirely dark itself. Um, let's see, so watch face, you can change your watch face. There's a lot of different versions. So right here we have that. You can have like a, a worded quattro past or whatever that is. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different ones. I prefer the one that I have there. Oh, is it blurring? Yeah, it's blurring. Anyway, um, here we are here. There's a, there's a lot of them. They're all a bit hipsterish. And you can add to the collection by um by viewing uh, Asteroid OS's GitHub channel. I think there's a, a bunch there. So get off of that. I was considering some, but I did not going for it. This is launchers, so you can change how your um your applications menu handles. Uh, there's there's like a bunch of different ones. You can you can edit them. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any on Asteroid OS's website, but I mean hey. Give it a shot, you know, what's the worst that could happen? I'm gonna get off of that now. Um, USB, it's in ADB mode, Android debug bridge. I had to have it set as that so that I could, um, I can make some edits, you know? So there's other options here, MTP mode, developer mode, charging only. I like to keep it simple. I like to stick with ADB mode. And then finally we have power off, reboot about. Um, yeah, there. that's, that's the main run through. So Asteroid OS, there's a bunch of like other things. It's pretty cool, pretty nifty. And yeah, it's, it's all there. So thanks for joining me. This has been your run through of Asteroid OS with myself and Nero. Uh, feel free to watch more videos and um, we'll catch up again soon. Thank you. See you. Bye.